Here with head coach Jordan Dupuis after a 68-64 loss to Mississippi Valley. And coach, you, you kind of touched on it a little bit before. Fourth game in seven days, you know, a lack of legs at some point, and it looked like maybe that caught up to you just a little bit. You know, Jason, maybe, uh, but I don't ever want to use that as an excuse. Uh, I think you have to be mentally tough, and I think if you're mentally tough, physically you'll, you'll be fine. You know, I tell my girls all the time, I use a, a statement that the mental is to physical as four is to one. Uh, men mentality is four times as important as anything else, and, and right now we don't have it. So we're going to have to develop that in practice. You can't expect to walk into a game uh, and be mentally tough if you haven't done it every single day in, in practice. And that's something that we just spoke about in the locker room, and, and we're going to have to get, get it done pretty quick. You know, I saw some tears and things uh, in the locker room, um, but my question to them is what are you doing in between practices and on off days to make sure that you don't have tears after our next game? So I challenged them pretty good. I plan on them responding. Um, and we also told them that, that every position right now is up in the air and whoever practices the best between now and, and when we play Memphis on Wednesday is the, the people we're going to put out there on the floor. Valley did some, some good things. They were really good at the free throw line, and I think that, at least in a large part, helped them build that lead they got in the second half. It, it is. They, you got to give Valley a lot of credit. Uh, they did some things defensively that, that shook us. Um, they, they changed their defenses full court, half court. Uh, they even played a boxing one, which we haven't seen. Uh, you know, they, they chased Beatrice everywhere. We made her a screener uh, and it ended up working, um, but, but we just didn't finish a lot around the rim. So there was just a lot of things that Valley did. Again, you've got to give them a lot of credit. Shot the ball extremely well from the free throw line. Uh, shot the ball well uh, from the three. We didn't identify their shooters uh, late in the game. We knew 25 was going to be one that, that can knock it down, uh, and, we, and we just didn't find her late. So a lot of little things that uh, like I told them in the locker room, make teams great. It's not the big things that make teams great, it's the little things, and we've got to get better at those little things. Certainly one who handled some of the little things for you, Victoria Miller, 16 rebounds, seven on the offensive end. You touched on them just a minute ago. You, you still got to put those back and finish those, but seven extra possessions off. You know, and, and, and you can't be mad at her. Um, you want her to finish, uh, but the thing is, she's given us extra opportunities that we wouldn't have if she wouldn't crash as hard as she did. Her effort is tremendous. Uh, we're going to continue to work on that skill set. She's going to work. She works hard every single day. Uh, she's very athletic, very strong. She's the hardest worker in the weight room. So it, it's going to come. Uh, but 16 rebounds off the bench is tremendous. In the first half, I believe she had uh, eight rebounds in seven minutes. Um, so, so over a rebound a minute, which, which is just huge. So the next step with her is getting her to finish in the paint. She actually finished a couple in the second half, and she, she knocked some shots down from the free throw line. So definitely a bright spot. Um, and she's got to be ready to play because you never know she could be one that we insert in the starting lineup.